Okay, sixth grade, lesson 42. This is on renaming fractions, okay? Now, let me explain something to you. Up to this point, we have learned that this is the same as this and the same as this, right? Yep. So this is one half, this is two fourths, this is four eighths, okay? And they all equal a half, right? It's just how I cut it differently. Four out of eight equals half on this one. Two out of four equals half on this one. And one out of two equals half on this one, right? Okay, just like we've taken four eighths and reduced it to equal one half, now you're gonna learn how to not do the opposite of reducing, which is making it bigger or more, okay? So if I took four eighths and reduced it, how did I reduce it? By reducing it? How do you like, reduce? Uh, four kind eighths. Of like dividing, but not. Yes, I divide by, let's divide by the highest number that will go into both of those. Divide by four over four, and four divided by four is one, eight divided by four is two, okay? How we're gonna make it, instead of reduced, we're gonna make it increase, which is the opposite of reducing, and since you divide it by four, guess what you're gonna do this time? Multiply it, okay? So, let's take one half and multiply it by two on both of them. One times two is two, two times two is four. See how? Taking the numbers one and two, one half, and when we multiply, it makes the numbers bigger, two fours, right? Yeah. But it's actually making the slices smaller. Do you get it? Mm-hmm. Because four slices makes each portion smaller versus two slices, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's just kind of a brief overview of what you're going to be learning to do, okay? So... They're wanting us to write a fraction, one half, and they want the denominator to be, instead of a two, they're wanting it to be 20. Okay, so you have to think in your head, what can I multiply this by, the same number here and the same number there, that would give me 20 on the bottom? So, two times what equals 20? 10. 10. Okay, so since I did 10 on the bottom, I have to do 10 on the top for it to be equal measurements. Mm -hmm. So 1 times 10 is 10. Okay, mm -hmm. you see how we're doing that? Okay, so basically, base, basically you could come up with whatever denominator and figure out what this is to help answer the top, no matter what you're doing, okay? So let's try another one. This time, they're wanting me to take two different fractions. One half and one third, okay? And this pizza is cut into how many slices? Cut into two. Okay, that's kind of hard to spread around a bunch of people, right? <laughs> How's this pizza cut? Three. Uh-huh, and we have six people here. So, I want to cut it in six. sixes. Okay, so, if I have a two and I want it to be cut in six, Okay, this pizza was cut in a third, this one was cut in a half. Okay, but well we want it to be cut in sixes. So, what do I do? We multiply it by three. Three. Three on the bottom, three on the top. Two times three is six. One times three is three. So, I would cut it in six slices and that would be half. Three six would be a half, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try this one. From here, three times what equals six? Two. Two. So two on the bottom, two on top. One times two is two. One third is the same thing as two six, just depending how I um, sliced it. Mm -hmm. You got it? All right, now, they're wanting to take these two new fractions that we created and add them. So three six plus two six is? What? Three oh, six. that would be five six. Five six, okay, because you just add the numerators. 3 plus 2 is 5, and the 6, you leave the same. Okay, remember that whole rule? Yeah. All right, final answer is 5, 6, right? Yep. Guess what you just learned how to do? What? 
to add or subtract fractions that have different denominators. For example, let's say I had something that was a third of a pizza and I wanted to add a half of a pizza. Look right here. I have a third of a pizza left on one and I have a half of a pizza left on here. But I want to know how many I have total. Well, that's kind of hard to add mixed measures because look, Eli, I can add my numerators, one plus one, but can I add my denominators, three plus two? No, they have to be the same. You see that? Yeah. Okay, so that's kind of what you're going to be learning to do, and you're going to actually do this probably in the next few lessons. Yeah. Okay, so that is lesson 42.